Welcome to the Westmas Open College and the Lukomona John University. My name is Dr. John Lukomona, Principal of the WMOC Westmas Open College and Chancellor of the Lukomona John University. I want to give you some bit of tips on what's happening in the environment of learning. I first of all want to focus on the health and social care sector where things have been progressing in the United Kingdom and what's happening in the job market and the role of the college and the university. The United Kingdom has had an expansion in the care sector for many years. This industry has been growing while other sectors have been facing difficulties here and there in terms of business throughput, the care sector has been growing. Because pe people live longer, there's more need to care, and therefore it brings a challenge of who's going to do the work. Employees are not as many as they should be. I read one report and there's a projection that in the next few years, there will be at least 180,000 to 200,000 shortages of uh, care workers. And that's very important to note. Now, because of this, the care industry is stretched. Many carers are working longer hours in the UK, and that's not very helpful to anybody. You want to work normal hours and have a rest. In recent times, the United Kingdom, as a result, allowed people from outside the UK to come and seek for care work in the United Kingdom to help satisfy the job market. The Westminster Open College has been training carers since 2010. In 2010, Westminster Open College was under a different name and different model. 2013, that's when the Westminster Open College was rebranded to include Open College. Open meaning we can teach by distance learning worldwide, which is what we've been doing. How do we do this? It's via the school account which you open on our website that is scrolling on the screen. You have a login in there 24 7. You can access it. Lessons are recorded and posted there. We record our own lessons. We also use the open source lessons from the internet. Assignments are there. Standards are there booklets are there, materials to read are there. Self-testing is there as well to track your learning and recording of your progress is there. So the whole academy is right on the school account. And it's very important for you to open a school account once you uh, apply for any course in our establishments. When you open a school account, after you've been admitted to start learning with us, you'll be allocated a personal tutor. Who is a personal tutor? This is a tutor that teaches you live via the technology of the time. Currently, we use Zoom. In those days, we're using Skype. I think Zoom has done much better. Their tools are very good to use for learning. So the personal tutor will meet you via the technology online, you can interactively ask questions and chat. A tutor group is typically 12 students maximum. When you are in that tutor group, you'll be given a timetable with your tutor for when you can have what we call contact learning hours. The directed learning hours are those hours which you are logging in by yourself. This is a model of delivery, very important. Let's go back to the health and social care. We deliver the care certificate via the same model that I've explained to the locals in the United Kingdom and to those 
in the international community outside the United Kingdom. The duration of the care certificate is 12 weeks maximum, minimum 8 weeks. The minimum 8 weeks is for those people who have a background in the sector already. Some come for a refresher or what we call renewal. In the UK, CPDs or renewals are an important part of personal development. You have to renew, refresh your knowledge. Things change over time. One year is a long time. You've got to make sure you're up to date with what's happening in the sector, which is why a refresher is recommended. Once you go through the care certificate, at the end, you'll be tested. How do we test? Two methods. The first method, it is continuous assessment, which we call formative assessment, through the booklets or the handouts. There are 15 modules in the care certificate. Under WMOC, these are grouped under Unit 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Unit 1 is the carer's role. Unit 2 is safeguarding. Unit 3 is ensuring well-being. Unit 4 is health and safety. Unit 5 is mental capacity. These five units groups what we call standards of the care certificate, which are related. For example, if I'm dealing with information management, I cannot talk about information management or record keeping without talking about communication or effective communication. In that, I cannot talk about effective communication without looking at duty of care. So related standards are grouped together so that the delivery is holistic. And you can see the interconnection of these units, why we put them under, uh, why, why group standards under these units. It's very important. Your responsibility as a student is to make sure that you log into the school account as many times as you can. And that also records your attendance. It does tell us from the engine. Very important. So when you meet your tutor live, you have already learned something and you can bring something to the table by way of asking questions or contributing. So when you have that handout, which you're going to download, you find it's got two parts. Part one is what you need to know. Those are the lessons, notes you have to read. Then part two, it says, what do you know? It is now the workbook. You have to answer those questions. There are activities there and there's a space for you to type in. If you're using a laptop, which I recommend, and a smart laptop, you should be able to type in the PDF directly. Otherwise, you may print and write by hand. Make sure you have that evidence and put it in your portfolio. It may be requested. The final, what we call summative assessment to test whether you should be awarded or not is by professional discussion. Professional discussion, this is where we group you in your own class and an assessor is in front of you and this will be done virtually via Zoom or the technology of the time. As you are sitting around the table, a question is posed or a scenario is given to you. Much of it is read from the standards, sometimes a scenario from a practical uh, environment. Then each one of you contributes on how you can handle that situation. Part two of the uh, summative assessment is one-to-one -one with an assessor. An assessor speaks to you as an individual away from others. And from there, you are gauging as how much you know. Why is this assessment important? It tells us and also tells you how much you know and how ready you are to enter the care sector. It's a very demanding sector and this is a regulated sector. In the UK, it's regulated by the CQC. And the CQC are very strict about all carers to have this qualification. It's very important. You may ask, how may I progress to other levels of my training? WMOC also does have level two health and social care, level three health and social care, and above. These are the national vocational qualifications. You can progress to this.
and I encourage many of you to do so. And some of you who have an aspiration to go into nursing, this can be your route to nursing. For those who are outside the United Kingdom, once you obtain this qualification and you want to apply for a job, there are companies who are licensed to sponsor people to come and work in the UK in the care sector. Now the role of the WMOC is to provide this qualification to you and that's our contract. Once we certify you, after you pass the examinations, you become a certified carer under WMOC and when you go to an employer, they will be able to accept this. We've been training for many, many years and some employers who actually got some of our candidates who applied from them, they say these people work very good and they stay longer in employment. One of the employers told me the other people who came from the BMOC stayed there for three years at least and the recommendations were very good. Now WMOC, what we will do for you, or we may do for you, once you apply for a job, you may use us as a referee. Because in the UK, without a reference, they may not grant you employment. So we may help you with the referee, talk to your tutor, the ones that's teaching you, and get a consent. Once you get it, an application going through, put our details will support you with the reference in the time frame that we have known you. That is where our contract between you and WMOC in terms of training or the Commonwealth University ends for the care certificate once we certify. One of our mottos is run into success with WMOC. At Lukumana Journal University, we say, earn as you learn. What does it mean? As a core value, not an obligation, not a contract, we do have some career workshops, one-off career workshops, where we provide information to you on how to apply for work. We provide information to you on whom you might want to link with. If you are on other courses, we do linkages. Linkages, it comes from the platform of Amaka Wingi, where we belong. They have four pillars there, education, promotion, innovation, and linking. Linking meaning, once you get anything in your bag, you must want to link with somebody or a company that can help you progress further, which includes employers. So under that um, value, the college and the university also does create that platform to link you by way of introduction. This is optional. You may not take them up or you might. It's up to you. But we provide that platform. Attend the workshop. We provide the linkages and you may run with it if they do exist. Sometimes they are not there, but we can guide on how to find them. We've been doing this for many, many years and many people have been supported. The example that I've just cited. So don't miss that workshop when you complete your studies very very important that is the core value that will help you to run into success otherwise we encourage you very much so to learn develop these techniques on how to search for your partners business business partners employers and so forth it's a big big job in the United Kingdom there's even a department through the councils called the job centers their role is just to handle things like that. So it is huge. That role, the WMOC or the Commander General University does not take it upon. It's a separate service. Other organizations exist who can do this for you. They're called job agencies. In case you're wondering, how would I manage if I'm asked to do an English test, if I'm abroad and I want to apply for um, work in the UK and I discover that I need to write English. WMOC has no control over IELTS, for example, but we have our own English department where we have got English tutors who might help you to be prepared or to learn English as a language. We also have a department where we teach Dutch as a language. So we can help you in preparation. For those people who are locally in the UK or even those abroad, 
you might also be interested in taking up what we call the functional skills level one or level two the functional skills these are equivalent to GCSEs and most universities and employers accept such functional skills in English if you obtain them given that you did not have any English qualifications so that's available as well WMOC and Lockman John University is here to look after you just apply and request two ways you can do this the level one and level two functional skills you can write our internal examination and afterwards write the external examination we normally use exam boards through our partner examination centers such as OCR, AQA, Edexcel, the notable ones. Those are the ones we use. We access them via examination centers. So let us know where you are so we may help you. And I hope that I've answered the many questions that you might want to have, that you might have before you apply. And if what I've said clicks with you, links with you, your aspirations, go ahead and apply. If this is not for you, do not apply. Do something else. You might want to consider other courses which we have. Signing off, but still present with you, this is Dr. John Lukomona. Don't forget to click like and subscribe so that you may receive more information and updates on other courses. In this clip, we focus on the care certificate. Thank you very much.